Hey there, welcome back. Alex Lyon here, and we are going to look at the definition of a small group. We are working out of BB and Masterson's book on communicating in small groups. So a small group defined is a group of at least three people. So it has to be more than two. Two is a dyad. It becomes a group at when you once once you have three people in it, and it goes up to about 12 people. So three to 12 is an agreed upon number for what counts as a small group. Now, some people say that you can have as many as 20 people and still call it a small group, but that's a little bit debatable. If you have ever been in a group that gets larger than 12, then participating in that group becomes more difficult. There are additional complexities. So at the outskirts of the definition, you some people say 20, but three to 12 is a really good, safe that in terms of what counts as a small group. There are some other definition parts of the definition as well. They are meeting with a common purpose. So groups have a reason to exist. There are goals, there are objectives. This is different than let's say than just a crowd waiting to get on a bus or a crowd waiting to cross the street or just a collection of people in some random place in public. A group actually has a reason to be there together. They have goals and objectives. Three, there's a sense of belonging in the group. So group members recognize that this group exists and that they identify as part of this group, at least to some extent. And number four, they exert influence on each other. So each group member, because they are in the group, has some measure of influence on the other people in the group, even if it's simply by communicating nonverbal cues like eye contact and listening. They're still influence, influencing the people around them to some extent. So that's the definition of a small group and its four parts. So question of the day, was there anything interesting to you about this definition? Anything stand out? For example, do you think that is many as 30 or 40 people could be a small group? Or do you agree with the more tight definition of three to 12 as what counts in a small group based upon your experience, based upon what you have gone through yourself when you're interacting with groups of various sizes? I look forward to reading those comments below. Take care.